So here is how to progress in the Halloween event for Phasmophobia for 2024. First things first, you have to know this is a community event. No individual rewards will be given. The community has to come together to earn points to get to the certain rewards. Those rewards are a Blood Moon ID card, an upgraded ID card, and then a Blood Moon trophy along with unlocking the Blood Moon weather permanently. So here's how you get points. On Point Hope, Willow Street, Edgefield, and Grafton, there's going to be these Blood Moon totems that look like this. You want to take a picture of it? It seems you get one point per totem that you take a picture of. You'll also get 10 points for identifying the ghost correctly and 2 points for each optional objective that you're able to complete. It seems like if you're playing with more people, you get like more blood totems maybe to get a few more points extra towards the total. You can see how many blood points you get here at the bottom of the reward page. Now it seems like for this, you can do it on any multiplier. A 0 multiplier, a 15 times multiplier if you're crazy. And those points go toward the total, which right now we're looking at 0.79% complete after a day but that's a whole different issue so there's a few really ways if you really wanted to farm a bunch of points to help out that you can do you just wanted to be really fast put your custom settings on 150 percent player speed infinite sprint you can do friendly ghosts and just go around take a picture of the blood altar and leave take a guess maybe try to complete an objective if there's an easy one but if you're just looking to get the most points fast that's probably going to be the easiest way it's pretty boring but if you wanted to get a little bit more and identify the ghost correctly you could just set to the ghost never changing rooms set it to a mirror so you can look at the mirror figure out where the ghost is run there set everything up identify the ghost get objectives you can and leave of course if you're a brand new console player and you don't have access to the custom difficulty well you might just want to play on amateur and keep doing everything that you can some of the objectives are actually going to be really hard to complete especially if you were a brand new beginner so i really wouldn't worry about it get your camera unlocked i think it's at level three take the photos of the altars try to get the ghost correct and leave good thing is if you die you still get all the points towards the event that you would have you do not have to survive now you might lose some of your items but that's besides the point so let's go over some examples here of how many points we could get how fast and if you are looking to just farm fast i just recommend going in here and just running around and photographing everything that you can i have 150 speed infinite sprint we're just going to go in take what we can i didn't look at the objectives to see what they were typically i find with like if you're doing single player uh you might get like three or four trophies just snag a picture it doesn't matter whatever star not important we can head on down don't know where the ghost room is i do have the haunted mirror as my item uh, the spawns seem to be like somewhat the same like there's certain areas they can do it you might not get all of them in the same one that is three i think that's gonna be all that we have for this Okay, I actually guess shade as a joke. We got it right. That's going to give us a decent amount of blood points there. Uh, it is 13 points. We got the three photos. We managed to get the ghost right. It would have just been three points, and that was uh, only a minute into the house. So, again, I'm using custom difficulty settings for this. Uh, I just think that that's going to be easier that way. I know that if you are a brand new player, you might not have access to the custom difficulty settings, and you might not be as well aware if i have the mirror because it doesn't really cost a lot of sanity and i know what i'm looking for it's going to be the left storage downstairs in the basement I do not have my photo cam yet but we can come over here no, no, no. no orbs all right set the book down you know we're just trying to get this done like fast at least i try to identify the ghost again it's going to take a little bit longer but i have 150 percent player speed infinite sprint i did keep hunts on just in case we want to get hunted to identify the ghost faster we do have ghost riding. I do have it set to never change favorite rooms and only low roams. Not very far. <laughs> Pulte or an EMF5, but... <clears throat> yeah, but we're just going to come over here, snag our pictures. I don't think there's anything in there. I recommend doing it on, like, Willow or Edge... I mean, Grafton is not too, too bad. I would avoid Point Hope for this, because I don't think it's worth the time and effort to get the stuff there. Uh, this time it looks like we have four uh, altars. So again, try to just complete whatever objectives you can. Uh, we still... Okay. No UV. No orbs, no UV, spirit shade, more idea. I don't think it's going to be spirit box either. I think, is this just going to be a shade then?
We're gonna go for it. Why not? If we're wrong again, you want you don't want to be in here too too long. We did everything that we could. Should blow out the firelight by the time. Hopefully we get to the van. Not quite yet. We're gonna go shade because we ruled out all those other evidences, and I know that we do have EMF five. What's another shade? I don't know what it is with me and shades today. Um, we were able to earn 18 points that time. That took about four minutes 37 seconds. Those are like the two best ways. If you have more people, you can split it up more. Again, I recommend custom difficulty settings if you're really trying to grind this out as fast as possible. Right, we can go into Edgefield and just shake it up here. That's what I think. Yeah, okay. We do have orbs. Do need to be careful, though. We might be at hunting range. Uh, okay, so we got that going off. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this event. Do you like it? Do you like the community aspect? Do you want to just kind of do it solo? Uh, I don't I don't really mind it. I mean, I like the uh, I like the community idea. I think it's a lot of fun it brings the community together I think the rewards seem really high to get but Hey, well, what do I know? All right could be an Obake. So hopefully hopefully it'll get it fixed out From behind. Okay, could still be a mimic Let's see what we can find. Again, I'm just taking, like, quick ones. I don't think you really need to be meticulous with this. You kind of just want to try to get what you can. And move on. So again, it's all about speed. It's all about the grind, right? After I grind it up to Prestige 20, now we're here grinding this stuff. No, there was one in the ghost room. Uh... Not a phantom. Wasn't sure where everything is. I think there could be one in the bathtub in here. No, no, not this time. Please keep in mind when it comes to the blood moon, your sanity does drain more. Uh, the ghosts are faster as well so it's about 125 percent speed so just some things to be uh careful of be mindful of i'm leaning towards onria right now i think we would have seen the dots we're going for it if we're wrong we're wrong let's see what we got nah it was a yokai so if we got it wrong so we still get the points we still got seven points we were in there for four minutes 32 seconds but not great we got it wrong we could have waited for that I'm not going to show uh, Point Hope, but we'll show Grafton here. And you can also, again, trigger a hunt as well. That can also be uh, kind of fast. Uh, that's in the workbench there in the back. Very well. It's right over here. Uh, I don't see any orbs. We should be able to set the book down. I thought there was a ghost of it for a second that I didn't hear. I was like, what? Uh, let's see. Not getting a response. I know it just touched the stuff, so I don't think it's going to be Spirit Box. Do not think it's going to be Spirit Box. And it's just a good idea just to get hunted when you do get the two evidences, because sometimes it makes it a little bit easier. And then when you are playing with three, we know, like, I'm pretty confident we can rule out Spirit Box. Pretty confident we can rule out Ghost Orbs, because we did not see any Ghost Orbs. Well, no, 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 we see Ghost Orbs. Fantastic, fantastic. I don't know why it didn't there the first time. Maybe it, like, roamed out of the room for a second or something. <sighs> Alright, let's go and get a day to take a look at the uh, optional objectives, too. Some of the times it might not be super, super fun to get. Uh, let's see. Incense, ghost, defense, standing below 25. I do think the ghost orbs are gonna be real, though. Uh, we do have ghost riding, which would make sense. Uh, if it was not spirit box, it's a revenant or a thay. One of those things where it's a good idea just to, you know, go ahead and get hunted. Right? So uh, the ghost will be uh, slightly faster, 125% speed if you're playing with 100% speed. So just something to keep in mind. Just gonna bring it all the way down. Thing's gonna be coming out as fast. That is a revenant, if you uh, do not know.
completely forgot to take pictures of the totems, but we still got 14 points without even doing that. Not when we were in there for 3 minutes, 39 seconds. Quick ways to grind, especially when you got infinite sprint and all that. Now, if you are new at FAS, there are three things that I think that you should learn first as a beginner player. So click or tap the screen now to go ahead and watch that. Thank you so much to all the channel members and the Twitch subs for all the extra support. It truly does mean a lot to me. Happy hunting, everybody. Let's try to complete this Blood Moon event, and I'll see you in the beginner tips.